MACD is one of the most popular indicator among traders of any type from scalpers to long-term traders. It has different use cases like identifying trends, measuring momentum and evaluating strength or weakness of a trend, discovering reversal points of the market and some other use cases when used with other tools. With different settings on different time frames, it has different behavior. And in this video, I'm going to share a setting for MACD which makes it an excellent tool for identifying trends on shorter time frames suitable for scalping and day trading. Let's add a MACD to our chart on TradingView platform. Here we click on indicators and we simply search MACD. Moving average convergence divergence this one. After adding it to our chart here we go to its settings and for the fast length we set it at 34. For slow length we set it at 144 and for the signal smoothing 9 is fine. Then we go to style tab and we uncheck MACD and signal lines because in this method we only need the histogram. We click on OK and our MACD is ready for use in trading. It's better to set your chart type on Haken Oshi chart so it will better match with the MACD histogram in advancing of the price, declining of the price and the pullbacks. The time frame here is 1 minute and you can use it on other intraday time frames but it's better to use this MACD settings on shorter time frames. This MACD setting is used only for identifying the current direction of the market not for trading signals and you can use it in your trading strategy alongside with other indicators or if it's not possible you can have this uh, set up on different screen or tab and use it for discovering direction of the market and possible changes in the current trend. As you probably realized by now you can clearly see how this MACD histogram with this special settings is matched with the trend of the market. Here the market is in a downtrend and the MACD histogram is red in this period and here the market is in an uptrend and you can see that how MACD histogram also responded and turned to a green histogram. To show you how a MACD with default settings looks like let me add another MACD and compare them together. In this period of uptrend, you can see how the MACD with default settings is acting. Lots of changes in the histogram. It turned to red many times, giving false signals that the trend is possibly changing. And you see how the uptrend continued its move. But for this MACD with this special settings, we can see how it stayed consistent during this uptrend. One trading strategy here could be taking only bullish crossovers from this MACD while this MACD is green. These are low risk trading signals because the trade entries are in the direction of the market not against it. We have the same for downtrends. While this MACD is red, we only take bearish crossovers from this MACD. Alright, let me close this MACD and give you some important points here. As I said earlier, we use this MACD with this special settings only for identifying trends and possible changes in the current trend. When a trend is well developed and then we have a divergence, it means that the trend is probably weakening. For example, here you can see that we have a bearish divergence. The price made higher high, but the histogram made lower high. This shows that the upside momentum is losing strength. And on the other hand, the downside momentum is gaining strength and there is a possibility that the trend may stop or a reversal may happen. Please pay attention that this is just a possibility and nothing more as long as that the MACD histogram is green and above zero, the upside momentum is greater than the downside momentum. And you can see that in this case, the price continued higher, but the upside momentum is really losing strength. Another bearish divergence happened here, giving more probability that the current trend is going to end. And you can see that after that, the price turned to a downtrend. And with this MACD histogram turning to red from here all the way up to here. Sometimes when we have a deep correction or pullback like what happened here, we may have a change in the histogram slightly and after that turning back to its previous status. Also pay attention that when a trend losing strength like what happened here, it doesn't necessarily mean that a reversal is going to happen instantly and the price may go to a trading range. And in the case of having a trading range, we may have our histogram changing color continuously before the market find its direction and establish a trend. That's why we don't use color changing of this MACD histogram as trading signals. With this MACD histogram and these settings, our purpose is not looking for trading signals. We only use this setup for identifying the current trend and possible changes in the direction of the market. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions 
as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.